Morning everybody. I'm making this video for you because we've got these fabulous new Specsaver logos. They look wonderful, but they're very hard to deal with because they've got points like that which makes them very hard to get off. So I'm going to show you how to put them onto the stars today. First of all, you're going to get your scissors and you're going to cut into the logo just like that. Okay, don't freak out. This is all part of the plan. Then we get my scissors on the other side and I also cut into the logo between a couple of points and then towards the words. I do that because we're putting a flat logo onto a round surface. Okie dokie. So now what I'm going to do, usually we would peel the logo off the front and then place it on the balloons. Today I'm not going to do that because that's really hard. So we're going to peel it from the back. That will make it a lot easier. So I'm going to put it face down and I'm going to get a couple of the points just like that, peel them off and then I'm going to rip it. Okay, so I'm tearing across the back of the logo just like so. Okie dokie. So now we have part of the logo which is exposed. Alright, I get my star which I've inflated yesterday so I know it's good, it's nice and firm. And we're just going to get the logo and put it on the star like so. Now I'm just going to place it there first up. Alright, I'm not sure if that's the best spot for it. But this method allows us to place it, the logo, and then have a look. Now I'm pretty happy that that's centred and that's going to look nice. So, I go through and I work from one corner to the other corner, flattening it out, oh, making sure all the points are flat on the balloon. Alrighty, my logo's nice and flat. Now I'm going to go through and pull off the rest of the backing. So I will start by folding that up and I'll get this excess backing that I had for the bottom half. Peel it off. Now because I haven't cut all the way through the logo, I've just cut to the middle, the backing will come away quite nicely and allow me to stick the logo on. Okay, so as I pull the backing away, I bring the logo down and I start working at one side. Now the reason we've put a cut in the logo is because it's going to overlap at this point here. Alright, so you can see that there's a slight overlap, but that will allow the rest of the logo to be nice and flat for us. And I work my way around the star and around the logo, flattening it out until there we go. Oh no, it's not sitting right here. That's okay. We're just going to lift those pieces up. Alright, and I'm going to flatten that, and then I'm going to lift. Oh. <laughs> going to lift these pieces up. There you go. This is not staged. This is actually a real life one. You can see all the balloons behind me. It's grand final day, so we're going to deliver those. And we also have to install these Specsaver stars. So there we go. I'm just straightening that out now. Okay. Run my finger around. Make sure there's no creases. And there we have Specsaver's logo on the start, looking fabulous. And then I'll bring it over to my column. Got my 260 cues so I can tie it in and then it all looks gorgeous. Okay, so there you go, that's easy.